Okay, so you watched the gene video. Let's take a look a little bit more closely as if I were in class teaching you. Let's imagine this is a long strand of DNA that we found in the pea plant. If we look at this, we might find that there are several genes located on that strand of DNA. On one strand of your DNA, you have up to two, 3,000 genes, okay? So we're really making this simple here. So those genes code for different characteristics, different traits. They basically, they make different proteins. So again, if we're looking at our pea plant DNA here, this might be the gene for flower color. This could maybe be the gene for height, and maybe this is the gene for seed color. Now, new word, an allele is the actual information or DNA code that's found right here on the gene. The other day I asked you to read strands of DNA and figure out what their complementary bases are. Okay, so you were learning a little bit about the DNA code. So this might be the allele for purple. It could just as easily be the allele for white. It just depends on what DNA the uh, pea plant has. So if this is the gene, the location for flower color, if we were to look at the actual code, it's going to say purple, or as I mentioned, it could say white. It just depends on what DNA it has. So if this is the gene for how tall the plant is, then we look closely at it and we find out that it's tall, could easily be short. And this is the gene for seed color. And in this case, it's green. It could easily be yellow. So a true breeding plant, go back to Mendel's first cross, a true breeding plant, remember that DNA comes in pairs. So true breeding plants would have two strands of DNA, both with the genes for flower color. And if they're true breeding, then they're both going to say the same thing. They're both going to say purple. Or in the case of the true breeding white one, they both would have had the code for white. So to summarize, a gene is the location on the DNA, and the allele is the specific code or information. But how do these get passed on? Why did Mendel get all purple flowers after he crossed a purple flower plant with a white flower plant? Well, remember that dad is going to have his DNA, and since he's true breeding, there's going to be both purple alleles. Mom was true breeding for white, so there are white alleles. Remember that in sexual reproduction, half of this DNA is gonna be passed on to the offspring from the dad, and half is gonna be passed on from the mom. All right, see you in the next video.